Hey, what's up guys? Nate Jeff from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to take a look at a little product that I just found um, on a forum the other day. Somebody recommended it to me. Now I do post quite a lot of Falcon content on this channel and I was super excited to check this out because I do own an NKS keyboard as well. So I want to jump in and take a look at how you can get NKS compatibility into Falcon and some of the libraries like Vintage Vault 3. Let's check it out. So I just want to give a shout out to Jason from Freelance Sound Labs because he's done an excellent job on this NKS library. So um, as you know, a lot of companies ship with NKS support. None of the UVI stuff does, along with a couple of other ones which we're going to take a look at. So what Jason does is uh, painstakingly sets up these NKS files all with the audio samples as well included and makes them available they are a uh, uh, paid download um, but in my mind well worth it especially in a library like vintage vault 3 it really does make a massive difference and um, i'm a big fan of any sort of workflow enhancement and this kind of uh, really uh piqued my interest now i haven't actually been using my um uh, complete control as much as I should be um, but this has actually kind of reignited my sort of interest in it to the point that I actually think I might even upgrade my um, keyboard at some point uh, to the S series I just uh, uh, was working with the A up until now um, but I would actually like to upgrade this to the S88 at some point um, let's take a look though uh, once you um, download uh, the pack so they have a number of different packs for various different uh, um, uh, developers. So everything from Spectrosonics, uh, UVI I have bought. I've, there are demos for all of these as well. So you can actually go download these to make sure that they do function correctly if you do own a NKS key keyboard. Uh, D16, I might grab those for um, Lush 101. The KVA audio stuff uh, was also really nice to have. Uh, UVI definitely for the big libraries for sure. Uh, Korg, I'm not so interested in any of the rest of these, but um, there are a few uh, other ones as well, like Sound, uh, Sound Toys 5. There's actually effects NKS libraries down here as well. Iris 2, uh, a number of different ones. And he's updated quite a lot of these as well uh, to fairly recent updates. Um, but if you head into the UVI one and you can grab the Vintage Vault 3 library, they also have the Falcon library. I'm not sure if it covers the 2.1 release. No, it probably wouldn't. Uh, so there'll be some of the presets missing from that one. Uh, but Vintage Vault 3, this is the one you want to grab. So let me just show you how this works and why I love this so much. Um, so on your NKS keyboard, can hit the browser make sure you're in user mode uh, user nks files will only work in user mode but that's fine though if you click here you'll see we have all our libraries loaded up um i've got some demos as well for anna 2 uh i believe there's a silent one in here somewhere as well um we'll come down to here uh let's take let's take the uvx um we could actually browse for all of these but i'm going to just grab the uvx triple uh, x so you can browse through the um, libraries like that. Click again. Everything is tagged correctly. So we can grab a bass sound. Well, let's grab a pad sound instead. We'll click there. We've got the characters dialed in as well. Uh, we could just choose to actually bypass that. We'll just click again. <laughs> So as you can see, we've got all the preview files done for this as well. We'll just... Uh we'll grab one of those and you can see our UVI uh, workstation is loaded. Now this uh, bank actually comes with patches for UVI workstation as well as Falcon. Uh, I chose to install the UVI workstation ones. Um, just the interface was a little bit cleaner. If I really want to get into Falcon to edit these, I can do so externally. Um, but I just kind of liked having these in UVI workstation. They load up super quickly. And uh, the interface looks great inside of uh, Complete Control. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Now, the other really cool thing with this is if you uh, know UVI Workstation, you'll know that when you're using UVI products like this, for example, um, because of the modular nature of Falcon, the um, assignments for controls are not done automatically. Uh, in Falcon and in UVI Workstation, if you hit the right button here and hit play, this does not record any automation data. What you have to do is when you want to record a specific control, you have to right click and you can either assign a MIDI CC value to one of the controls or you have to enable a host automation slot for that. You'll see now VCO3 cutoff has been assigned. So now when we hit play, we can record our automation in there. Um, but also we don't have MIDI control over this now, so we would actually have to assign a MIDI CC value before we could actually live record that even with that um, enabled. So that is, it is a little bit of a hassle that. Um, so what's great about uh, the complete control version is they have done all the assignments for you. So if we just open up the control panel here at the top, you'll see uh, all the controls for the instrument have already been mapped. We can just hit plug in, there we go, and we can browse through the pages at the top. So we've got main volume. We can turn oscillators on and off. jump into the next page we've got filter filter one which is part one we can change the uh, we can even switch the filter type as well turn that on to band pass jump back turn on oscillator two again Got filter envelopes here. So you can see just um, a lot of work and love has gone into preparing these and it just makes getting around this bank a lot easier. The bonus with this as well is I quite often, you know, I'll get into Falcon and I know I want to find a bass sound, but then you are um, confronted with the choice of which library you're going to go look for a bass sound in. And there is a lot of synths that have been sampled. Uh, so in that case, you know, we can just uh, jump into the browser and go through all instruments and just select bass. And let's uh, we'll go to synth bass, and maybe we'll go with analog. Let's go with that one. And let's pick something from the JP Legacy, JP uh, Jupiter 6. And once again, all the control assignments have been done for you. Here we go. And we can just hit record now immediately and have all that stuff already set up for the DAW. The only thing you need to make sure of is that you enable write for this channel. Uh, you can then hit record. Let me just turn auto quantize off. Uh, hit record. Awesome. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can go to Freelance Sound Labs and go and do download the demos and just check them out. Uh, there are, like I said, there are a couple of other synths in there as well. Uh, and a two, there's a couple of 
presets from Anna too that you can check out. So obviously not the entire preset bank, but the benefit of downloading the demos as well is even if you don't have all the presets, which you probably want to get, but if you don't, you still have the control assignments uh, inside of um, Complete Control already done for you. And there are pages and pages and pages of controls that have already been pre-mapped for you. Uh, so even if you don't use the presets from here, you can still load the presets from inside of Anna. I'll take one of the new ones from the Prog Trans library. And the control assignments are still there. Couple of silent patches. Well, there we have it. Uh, definitely go check this out. Uh, I will leave the website in the um, description uh, for the video that is Freelance Sound Labs. Really, really worth getting if you are invested in a complete control and have some of these products, particularly UVR Vintage Vault. All right, thanks guys for tuning into the video. If you guys enjoy the content, please remember as usual, hit that like button subscribe and the notifications bell so that you know when we have new content online i will catch you guys again soon right here at Marilla music cheers